This is the homework for Lesson 8, Module 4 of Grade 3. Please write your name first. And we're writing multiplication equations to find the areas of rectangles. We're just All you have to do is find the side lengths. We call it length times width is the formula uh, equals the area. And you'll notice the units. We're going to call these. These will change. Uh, and the units are kind of set up for us here. But you'll notice that it's centimeters on the sides, and the area is always the area inside is always square units, square centimeters. If it's feet on the sides, then it's going to be square feet for the area. Uh, we have three times eight is twenty-four, so the area is twenty-four square centimeters. Uh, length and the rule for length times width is uh, look at which side is longer. So you're looking at a rectangle, and that's like for this for B rectangle B. This is this side I would call the length, and this side here I would call the width. I just call the lo the longer side is the length, and if they're both equal. If they're equal to each other, then like it's a square, then it doesn't matter which one you call length and which one you call width. Because they're the same. So uh, here the area is going to be 6 times 8, which is 48. So it's 48 square centimeters. See, here's a rectangle, here's a square. Uh, so this is 4 times 4 which is 16 so it's 16 square feet this is 4 feet by 7 feet which is 28 28 square feet and uh, this one is we know the area so that could be um, that would be the product of a multiplication equation and it's also uh, the dividend. So in a division equation, so we have 20, it's 20. Since we know the 24, we know the dividend and we know our divisor 3. Then we can figure out our quotient is 8. Or think of it as a missing factor a multiplication equation. We know one side is 3 and the product is 24. But we have to figure out what the missing factor is. It takes eight threes to make 24 so that has to be eight feet and same thing here for B um, we have for multiplication 9 times something equals 36 or for division which this really is 36 divided by 9 it takes four nines to make 36 On the grid below, draw a rectangle that has an area of 32 square centimeters. Label the side lengths. So you want to think about this. You need two factors that equal 32. If you have a chart, you can just find 32 as a product and figure out what two factors are. Well, let's see how long this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the grid is 10 units long, or 10 centimeters. We're going to call it 10 centimeters long, even if it isn't really 10 centimeters. You could measure with a ruler. Um, 32 square centimeters. Well, I, you could also do this by, you know, you could skip count and figure out... Um, factors of 32 you know you since it's even you could divide it in half but we that would be two sixteens and this is only 10 wide so you can't use that but I'll just tell you that four eights will make 32 so one two three four one two three four five six seven eight so there's our rectangle.
and label the side lengths. This would be four centimeters, and this one would be eight centimeters. Since the area inside is thirty two. square centimeters. Patricia draws a rectangle that has side lengths of four centimeters and nine centimeters. What is the area of the rectangle? Now you could, um, you're going to have a hard time trying to draw with a ruler measure four centimeters and a nine centimeter side and then draw a grid uh, with a ruler. You don't have to actually use a ruler to do this. We can just draw because the paper is just not going to be big enough for everything to fit. So we can just draw a rectangle and we need one side longer than the other. And we'll say that this one is, I mean, just like they've been doing on the rest of this page, they call these square centimeters here in this grid and they're not really centimeters. So we don't have to use we don't have to draw one that's actually four centimeters by nine centimeters. We can just draw a rectangle and, and label it four centimeters and nine centimeters. What is the area of the rectangle? Well, you could draw you you could draw squares in here and count the squares, right? You've got four rows of nine, but that would really be inefficient, and uh, you probably make a mistake in counting because you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot. You really don't want to have to count much more than twenty things if you're counting to find something out because there's got to be an easier way. And there is. We're multiplying side lengths. That's what we've been doing. So it's four rows of nine which is 36, the area, of Patricia's rectangle is 36 square centimeters. And our explanation for how we found the answer is in this picture. The labeled picture that we drew, that I drew, and in my multiplication equation here. That's my explanation of how I found my answer. Charles draws a rectangle with a side length of 9 inches and an area of 27 square inches. What is the other side length and how do you know? So here's a rectangle. And just like on the the ones on the first page, right, where we had an area and we knew a side, but we didn't know the other side, we're gonna draw we're gonna draw the same kind of thing. That's what this put this is a puzzle, just like one of those. So we know this side length is nine inches. And we know that the area inside is twenty seven square inches but we don't know this side. What is the other side length? And we know the opposite side is equal to the nine inches, but we want to know the question mark sides. How many inches is that? So we know that nine times something equals 27. And we know that 27 divided by nine equals something. And we can just do this, put the three right in there. The other side length. is three 
inches. And our explanation of how we know is right here in these number sentences and in the labeled picture.